Moving to Newcastle for university at first was definitely a very overwhelming experience, but through the Myron Morley family and all the people in it have really made it an easy transition. Knowing that someone's got your back and like that you can be honest to them, and just to know one another as well as you know our values, our beliefs, um, what really stands out to us and what we deem important um, as a person living on a Wobbicle country. I think that learning more about my heritage and about my people's spirituality has opened up many values and beliefs that I actually really agree with and really um, connect with. And as someone going into environmental science, I wish to incorporate those values and those beliefs in a way that would help my country, help my land, help my people and help to bridge that sort of issue that the world is currently facing with the climate crisis. Having Uncle Paul Gordon as a cultural guide, his stories were so inspiring and really heartfelt and you could tell that he's really passionate about the Indigenous community and really bringing that connection to land, to life. Having the 2021 and 2022 scholars here as a group has allowed us to really make some strong connections amongst each other. It's been really distinguished to see how the connection between Jack and Ken came about. This whole trip to China has been immense. What I think I'm really going to take away from it though is the understanding that people all around the planet are the same. We've all got hopes and dreams, we've all got trials and tribulations that we're all working through. So I think it's an awareness of trying to understand other people's point of view. Just being able to be around other cultures, having new perspectives is an inherently good thing and it allows you to pursue justice for all. I think the Maramuli program was quite instrumental in shaping my early years at university. The connections I formed with Indigenous scholars and older scholars and just getting to have conversations with people with such different perspectives of the world really kind of forced me to develop my own worldview a lot more deeply. The single biggest threat to everyone having the same sort of opportunities is climate change. We know that the people that are going to be first and worst affected by the climate crisis are the people that have done the least to create it. So today we're creating banners for the people's blockade and our key messages are taxing coal profits and funding new jobs and no new coal. So banners are such a great way of us getting our message out to the world. The scholarships really helped me learn about the importance of culture within people and communities, that person-to-person -person connection uh, and relationships. So it's a massive impact on me and my family going into the future. Before I started uni, I didn't really know who I was. I didn't have any support. You know, I dropped out of high school in year 10. I, I, I never really thought I would amount to anything much at all. And this scholarship has played such an integral part of my journey to be where I am now. I am confident in myself and I am proud of myself and that's not something that I could ever say before. So I'm, I'm just really, really grateful.